So let's say I wanted to create a business card. First thing that I'd do is I'd go into uh, File, New, and create a new document. Three by two and a half inches in the size. Um, actually, let's go to US Paper and set this at three by 2.5 inches. And we're going to ignore all of this stuff down here and press OK. Uh, now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some text. So I'm just going to click right here. And I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, Sandy Dune. And let's say sand dune salesman, and then say one, two, three, four street lane, a very specific place, and give him the phone number of that. There we go, fantastic. In order to commit these changes, I'm gonna go back to the move tool. So you'll notice that what I did is I went to the text tool in order to create some type. Here's a quote about sand dunes. Uh, so I did that in order to create the type, and then I went to the Move tool in order to move it around. Now, if I had added some type, and blah, 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 and then I tried to move it just right here, I'm not able to, because I need to be on the Move tool in order to move stuff around. And in that same way, if I tried to edit this text, so I'm double-clicking this right here, uh, but I was on the Move tool, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I need to be on the Text tool in order to edit the text. So there we go. Uh, sometimes people will accidentally be in the text tool, try to edit it, and instead they select outside of the text. So that's not helpful at all. If you accidentally do this, you can just click that text and hit delete. Make sure that, look at the cursor, make sure that it's changed from this to this. And then that's telling you that you're able to change that text. So let's actually make this a little bit more interesting. I'm going to go up here. Now, whenever we go to a different tool, this part, which is called the Options bar, changes. If we're on Text, it becomes Text Options. If we're on the Move tool, it becomes Move Tool Options. We want Text Options. I'm going to double-click this, select it, and let's make it bold. Uh, so there we go. We're going to make it a little bit bold. And uh, let's decrease the size of this right here. And in fact, I want to actually decrease the... Uh, amount of line spacing between this. And I'm looking at it, and there is no option to do that right here. So if you don't see any options at the option bar, there's a couple of places that you want to look. One, try right clicking. Sometimes that gives you something. In this case, nah, that doesn't do anything at all. The next place to look is, is there a window specifically made for that tool? In this case, there is. For text, it's called the character window. So if either you can go to window character or there's actually a button inside of the options bar right here. So I'm just going to click on it and you can see oh, I went to move this and it disappeared. So I'm going to go to window character or I'm just going to click right here. It pops right back up. So what's happening? Why do we have all of this junk right here? And when I move it, why does it disappear? The reason for that is we have a lot of windows, a lot of palettes that have been anchored together. Uh, and if I click this button, it looks like an A, it stands for character, we can have it pop out. If I click this button, we can have it uh, disappear again. If I move this to here, it goes away from all of the others. I can click X, and now it's on its own. So if I click this, it's on its own, or even better, if I just double click up here, it goes like that. Or even better, if I just move it up here, I can dock it onto the side. So you can see you can play around with palettes. They're not that confusing. Uh, now, in this palette, there's a lot more options than what we found inside of the options bar. There's things like this button down here, which allows me to do faux italics. Apparently, it was already on faux italics. I want to decrease the size of line spacing. So up here is the ability to decrease the size of line spacing. I just hover my mouse above this. You'll notice the cursor changes. And I can make it less, or I can make it more, or I can do the opposite. So we're going to make it a little bit less like that. I'm going to increase the letter spacing, decrease the letter spacing. There's there's other things you can do here. I want to make the letters wider. I want to make them longer. Don't use these. In general, nobody uses these two things right here. If I set them back to 100, they're set back to standard. Um, just to show you, to take you through this, uh, let's say I wanted to have, uh, let's say, third. Let's say I wanted to do that. I could decrease the size of this font just by selecting it, and then I could increase it, move it higher up by just using this thing right here, baseline shift. Or another way that I could accomplish that, here, let's delete that right there, go to Dune, third. Another way I could do that is just by selecting that and going into uh, Subscript or Superscript.
here's subscript, here's superscript. Play around with these windows. Uh, they're not all that confusing. Uh, things like uh, small caps, full caps, all of that are various options that you're able to do right there. Uh, I feel that's enough for text. You can basically figure out how to do it from there. Let's move on to adding images inside of this canvas.